hi in this video we'll learn about repeating group so let's get started a repeating group is a group containing repeating elements it's useful when we have a requirement to extract the data which is in a complex tabular format or in a unstructured format so let's see how we can extract the data so we have this particular document with me and here we have this participant detail such as participant name and then we have this description okay so we'll see how we can use repeating group so first what we have to do first we have to create a header so for that I will right click on header and then click on add then click on static text okay I will give keyword as conference okay I'll copy this one We'll check this box and here we'll mark this one as a required element number of surviving hypothesis will be one and we'll click on apply and okay let's test this one I will press ctrl E so it's identifying this header okay so now what we have to do we'll right click on search element and click on add then we'll select this option repeating group okay so we'll give name as rg and inside this repeating group we have a different mode document mode and page mode okay so I will keep this setting as it is and inside this relation what I will do I will click on add and here we will make some changes so currently is showing as a current instance repeating instance will be current instance so this one I will change as a last in last form and then we'll select this option and relation type will be blue click on add apply and ok ok so for extracting a participant name uh, we have multiple option either we can use a static text with character strings or we can use a label field ok so I will use a label field I will right click on repeating group and then click on add element then we'll select labeled field and here we'll give name as participant name okay so in label we'll mention this participant name okay I will copy this text I will just paste it here and paste it okay so we'll give this much only participant okay now for field position okay so we'll click on field position first so there's uh, some space in between so I will give minimum space as 10 
and then field position is right only field alignment is center width i can increase so okay let's check with 600 first so if required then we'll change it okay now click on relation and i will select this option nearest option and here i will give a reference element as a header element okay so inside this header we have this conference program okay click on apply and okay we'll test it control e okay so so this is my first instance this one is second this one is third this one is fourth 75 but it's including this number as well so i have to uh, i have to give some more space in between so for that again i will click on this one in field position i will mention 80 okay let's see this time click on apply okay control e okay so now it's identifying that partsman name is uh, correctly okay similarly we'll extract this uh, participant description so for that again i will right click on it click on add then we have this label field I will give name as description okay and inside this label we'll use participant as a label name okay then in field position this time we have this field value below to this participant so for that we have to give field position as below and minimum space i will give as 10 and width area somewhere somewhere 2500 okay let's check this one and inside this relation again we have to give that header as a reference So I will select particular keyword, click on apply, OK, and then match it. So it's uh, detecting this particular area, but I have to increase the width. Okay, so again I will go back to description. So 
inside this field position I will give it as 3500 apply and ok ok we will test it again So this time it's detecting the field properly. Okay, we'll check for other instances also. So fourth one, second one, and first one. Okay. Now we'll map this one. So we'll go to block, and inside block we'll create a repeating group first. We will give name as block underscore rg and in this one instance short order we will select in order of finding so this way it will work more ac accurately and inside this source element first we need to select our layout because I have a different search element okay so we'll select search element first here and then in resource we have to select particular repeating group click on apply okay and then inside this repeating group block I have to create a text field okay I will select this one as text we'll give name and then here we'll select search element and we'll select this field parts per, under parts per name we'll select this field click on apply ok again we'll right click on block and then click on add block and then click on text I'll mention as description and in layout we'll select search element
and we'll select under description we'll select field click on ok click on apply and ok so we'll test it for the last time ok control E and it's scientifying all of these fields okay so this is how you can use a repeating group also that's all for this video thank you